is thick in the air tonight at Indiana State University after three students were killed in a crash yesterday morning. One of them, Kayla Van Huser, was a graduate of Lakota East. Our Brad Underwood live in our studio with new information about Caleb's life and the joy with which he lived it. Brad. Good evening, Megan. Yeah, we've seen a lot of the images coming out of Terre Haute, the outpouring of support both on and off campus. We're also seeing it here as Van Hoosier's high school coach and friends try to make sense of this while planning to honor him. <laughs> on the field, number two was fast. For Lakota East, he played both ways and often scored on both offense <laughs> and defense. But to his friends, Van Hooser was just one of the guys. He always had like a bright smile on his face. He was a goofy guy. He was always like having fun. He always knew life of the party always. Rick Haynes coached Van Hooser at Lakota East. He still can't believe the news. I texted with him on Wednesday, uh, asked him how it was going, and he just said camp was tough. Uh, but I got through it, uh, and he was looking forward to the season. Van Hooser, a freshman at Indiana State, hadn't yet played in a college football game. Monday, his ISU coach, Kurt Mallory, spoke about the tragedy. It's devastating loss to Musili family, Eubanks family, and the Van Hooser family. Our prayers continue to go out to Omarion and John as they recover. Sunday, a vigil was held in Terre Haute. Today, Athletic Director Sherard Klinkscale shares his appreciation. This community, this Vigo County community, this university has been unbelievable in wrapping their arms around us. I was admire, and a man asked me if he could just pray with me, and I said, yes, I would, and I was so touched. Coach Mallory says the team will continue to mourn the losses, but it must move forward towards the first game. There's no question there'll be part missing. But this is a great time for us to come together as one Sycamore family. Now back here this Friday, the big Lakota game, East versus West. The players are going to wear Caleb's number two on their helmets. Megan. Brad, thank you. Police say the cause of that crash is still under investigation.